What if I was a stealth game that's not out yet or finished? Am I breaking embargo? No, don't worry, it's fine. But from the amount I've played, it seems pretty good so far. You start by gaining the ability to harness fire. You can throw it at guards to temporarily freak them out, or at grass to set it on fire and freak them out even more. They really don't like wildfires. Oh, I get why it's called wildfire now. I am fire. I am light. You cannot stop me. Oh, um, yeah, don't stay in the fire too long. You can't directly kill the guards, no. But hey, if you just happen to freak one out enough, they run into a spiked pit. That's on them, isn't it? All I'm saying is, once again, I'm not culpable for murder, okay? So there aren't just guards out there, you've got prisoners to go and save. They're just sitting there in their shackles waiting for you. You need to burn their shackles away by finding fire on the level and harnessing it and blasting away their shackles with glowing, lovely fire. Oh, sorry. And bringing them to a checkpoint so they can be nice and safe. You can carry them too and throw them if you want. It's great. But fire's not the only power. Soon you get the power of grass, which you can throw to make a vine, or throw it onto the ground to make a bush to hide in. It just gives you options on how to tackle a level. Oh, there's water too. You can use the water to make a bubble. Just go in the bubble and flow upwards. Yeah, bubbles are good. It's a good transport. It's a good way of getting up there. Yeah, I agree. Hello. In a bubble. Yeah, they're good. Um, pop. Uh -huh. Oh, and you can upgrade your powers too. Throw one of the specific powers into one of those things and you get an upgrade point for that power. But what does any of this actually mean? It means you're free to tackle a level how you want. Like on this one, I set the bridge on fire, which disposed of the guard as they just went for a bit of a swim. Uh. The bridge fire spread until the locked door was burnt away. Then I decided to go back and take care of the guard up on top. Why not? Of course, they had to throw their body into the water. Not that anyone would have seen it, but I just like throwing things. Then I ran through, swam under past a guard, and threw some water to distract them long enough to get by and pick up the fire, use it to get an upgrade point. Then I had to work out how to free the prisoners. I thought getting the fire from up here and throwing it through here would work, but that was silly. I just wasted that fire. I had to run all the way back to a checkpoint to get the fire again. Ran and jumped over where the bridge would have been, set the other bridge on fire, Used the water to make a bubble and float it up. Then used the fire again to free the prisoners and get them down. I'd forgotten the other one I went back up in a bubble. Decided to carry them. Why not? We swam back and I threw the first prisoner and the other one freaked out a bit for some reason. Then I threw them too and they were both safe. I could make my way to the exit of the level. Successfully. But often it doesn't quite work out. Often your best laid plans go wrong, but that's where quick save comes in. I love quick save. As long as none of the enemies are suspicious, you can save. It allows you to experiment and change your plans, undo things that went wrong. You know, a bit like Quantum Leap, but not really. And there's neat little touches. Like on this snow level, if you're carrying the fire, the snow will melt and fall on people and knock them out. It's neat. This game has no release date yet. I'm playing a very early build. I don't know how many levels the final game will have. As long as there's more of them on there. Good. Then Wildfire is shaping up to be something really special and great. Yeah. It's coming to Steam at some point. Who knows when. Oh, and uh, don't do this. <laughs>